Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh, and let's start this broadcast by taking a quick look at what is missing headlines in this hour. So there is high tension at the Egyptian Rafah border. Reports say that Israel has given the hostage deal what it calls a last chance before it carries out an attack in Rafah. The Hamas has said that it is studying the proposal that has been put forth by the Israelis. The Israeli soldiers killed two Palestinians who reportedly had opened fire at them from a vehicle in Ramallah. Now, the IDF claims that two automatic rifles had been used by the gunmen to shoot these soldiers and then apparently the Israelis claim that they fired back in self-defense. It's a big relief for 16 Indian nationals held on board the vessel MSC Ares that has been seized by Iran. Iran has said that it will release the crew of the Portuguese flagged ship that was raided by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps near the Strait of Hormuz as it was headed towards Mumbai. Now, Ukraine claims that Russia used cruise and hypersonic missiles in West and Central Ukraine to target the power and energy infrastructure. Poland says that it has scrambled jets to ensure the safety of its airspace. The day after the American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken ended his China visit, Taiwan reports a renewed Chinese military activity near the island. It claims that 12 Chinese aircraft violated the sensitive median line of the Taiwan Strait. Tornadoes wreak havoc in the U.S. Midwest, destroying hundreds of buildings in Iowa, Omaha and Nebraska. Tornado and storm alerts have been issued in Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma and Texas for Saturday. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.